Hello friends, welcome to SSP Math. Today we are going to start unit number 3 that is vector spaces and inner product spaces of our course linear algebra and stochastic processes. So in this unit our syllabus contents are first one is vector space then second one is subspace of vector space then linear combination of vectors linear span then next one is linear dependence and independence of vectors then we have to learn basis and dimension of vector space in this unit after basis and dimension linear operator so this part is related to vector space now the next topic of this unit is inner product spaces in inner product spaces we have to find first norm and length of vector means this one then euclidean space again in our syllabus orthogonality given orthogonal and orthonormal sets are also given and last topic of this unit is gram smith orthogonalization process so these are the contents of syllabus now what are the applications of vector space in engineering so system of image representation such as dct or wavelet work by changing the basis of the vector space to one that is more amenable to certain operations such as compression the key to these transforms is the concept of an orthogonal basis or coordinate system in which areas of a picture can be represented then vector space is used in search engine means google search engine in google search engine vector space is used which convert documents into word frequency vectors in determining the content then most important application of vector space is dating sites means in dating sites which converts client data into a personality vector as a part of scientific algorithm for matching potential mates then the concepts of vector space are used in data transmission theory that is error detection and error correction can be calculated using the tool of various theories in vector space then for linear transformation we typically want to transform image vectors onto a different basis space in which the image energy is unevenly spread if we take the basis formed by cosine waves of different frequencies for for different different frequencies for example we find that the basis representing high frequencies tend to high little energy and can be discarded this is the basis of the mpeg system used in digital tv then last topic of this unit is linear operator so linear operator plays the key role in computer graphics for many CAD software generates drawing using linear operator. So these are some applications of vector space and inner product space in engineering. Now let us start our first unit here that is vector space and inner product spaces. So in these units we have to use some notations. Notations are very important in vector space. First one we have to use because if we change books then notations will change. In maximum books for field of scalar r is there in some books for field of scalar k is there okay in some book f is there so we will use same notation here capital r capital r is scalar okay and alpha beta a b c alpha beta a b c are the elements of r means these are the scalars we have to take this alpha beta then a b c all belongs to r these are the elements of r then capital v we have to use notation for vector space and u v w be the elements of v this is very important in whole unit we have to take u v w be the elements of v that is vector spaces and alpha beta a b c are the elements of r now we will see actually what is the definition of vector space okay so a vector space over r over r means over scalar that r consists of a set of vectors v with two operations 
addition and multiplication with two operations addition and multiplication that is plus and dot for addition we have to use notation plus and for multiplication dot subject to the following conditions then v is called vector space over r means subject to the following conditions means a vector space over r consists of a set of vectors v with two operations addition and multiplication subject to these 10 conditions means if these 10 conditions are satisfied then we can say that that v is vector space over r now we will see one by one condition so what are these 10 condition first one we have to take u v be the elements of v here u and v belongs to v and alpha beta belongs to r means alpha and beta are scalars and u and v are vectors then first property is that is closure property u plus v belongs to v means if u plus v belongs to v or in word we can say that v is closed under addition then second property is u plus v is equal to v plus u that is vector addition is commutative do you know commutative property a plus b equal to b plus a same here if you take u and v with the elements of v and if we get u plus v is equal to v plus u then we can say that vector addition is committed to then next one is we know associative property if we take suppose u v w u w also belongs to here v so if we take u v w belongs to v or u v w be the elements of v then associative property can be written as u plus v plus w equal to u plus v plus w that is vector addition is associative then next property is u plus 0 equal to u where 0 belongs to v and u also belongs to v okay u plus 0 is equal to u means this is the inverse property under addition then next one is there exists minus u belongs to v such that u plus minus v is equal to 0 u plus minus v my u plus minus u equal to 0 then next property is there exists alpha belongs to r alpha be the scalar such that alpha u belongs to v means v is closed under multiplication this is the closure property under dot under multiplication this is closure property under addition is this that is u plus v belongs to v same if we take alpha b the scalar that is alpha belongs to r and u belongs to v then we, if alpha u belongs to v then we can say that v is closed under multiplication okay then next one is if alpha be the elements of r and u and v belongs to v then alpha into u plus v is equal to alpha u plus alpha v means this property okay and same next one is if alpha beta belongs to r such that alpha plus beta of u if we write alpha u plus beta u alpha and beta be the elements of r means these are the scalar and u is vector if u is vector then alpha plus beta of u can be written as alpha u plus beta v then uh, next property is associative property in multiplication that is alpha and beta are the elements of r again if alpha beta belongs to r and u belongs to v then alpha into beta of u is equal to alpha into beta of u and last property is multiplicative identity that is there exist one belongs to r such that one into u is equal to u so here there exists 0 belongs to r not v okay so u plus 0 is equal to u means 0 be the scalar and u be the vector then we can say that 0 is the addition additive identity okay so if this train properties are satisfied then we can say that v is a vector space okay 
so we will see again if u and v be the vector and r be the scalar then first property is v is closed under addition that is u plus v belongs to v then as v is uh, vector addition is commuted to that is u plus v is equal to v plus u then associative property hold under addition then uh, this is u plus 0 is equal to u means multiplicate additive identities exist that is 0 is additive identity or inverse there exist minus u belongs to v such that u plus minus u equal to 0 so these are the properties on addition and multiplication if we take alpha be the elements of r u be the elements of v then alpha u belongs to v that is v is closed under multiplication same alpha be the elements of r and u and v be the element of v then alpha into u plus v is equal to alpha u plus alpha v there exist alpha beta belongs to r such that alpha plus beta of u equal to alpha u plus beta v or associative property in multiplication and multiplicative identity that is there exist one belongs to r such that one into u is equal to u if this chain properties are satisfied then we can say that v is vector space over r so this is the definition of vector space in next video we will take the problems on vector space thank you